Hello everybody and welcome to another game of Squirrels Baseball. I am Aaron and this is the second attempt at recording this game. Uh, very unfortunate. We were into the fourth inning. Already up six to nothing. Frank had hit a home run. Tom had hit a home run. Maybe even two home runs. Um, Terry had hit the ball off the wall twice. Zach hit the ball off the wall. You know, already knocked Kyle Loesch out of the game. And then the game just went black and made a high pitch whine and just died. So, we're just going to have to try to forget all that happened and try again. Apparently that was all just a bad dream for Kyle Loesch. So, he'll try it again. We are going for the sweep here. A beautiful day here at Bush Stadium. Kester at the plate. Kester starts off the game with a base hit into center field. Marvin batting left handed. He was also having a marvelous game before the game died, but we'll see how it goes in this attempt. A wild pitch brings Kester to second. One and two the count at the plate. Marvin just fouled down the first baseline. Hits this one through the right side of the infield. Kester's coming on in to score, and he will make it there. Marvin advances to second on the throw. One to nothing Cardinal, or Cardinal Squirrels, right off the bat. Chief at the plate to try to add on. No outs yet. Has a one and one count. Called strike low in the zone. Ground ball to second. They go to third with it, and Marvin beats out the throw. The game does correctly score that a fielder's choice, but it puts runners on the corners with nobody out. Terry at the plate, and that's going to be a base hit in the left. Another run in to score. So, you know, maybe this game is going to be even worse than the one the Cardinals just got out of due to a wee error. Frank at the plate, finally grounds into an out. Punto picks it up, steps on third, throws to second. They get the out there as well. That's a 5U4 double play. Throw does go to first, but not in time. Cardinals badly needed that. Two down now. Runner on first, Tom at the plate. Fouls the first pitch away. Hits this one into the outfield. I think Encarnacion has... No, he doesn't. It drops in. And Tom will go on to second base. Puts runners on second and third for Zach. Two outs. And he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. Swings and misses at the second pitch. And this is going to hook foul. Still 0-2. And that slider goes outside. One and two the count. Is this going to get down? Yes, it will. Two runs in to score now. Four to nothing squirrels. Still not out of the top of the first. Joey at the plate. He lines one right to Miles. And that finally ends the top of the first. Squirrels send eight runners to the plate. Score four. And, uh, yeah, you can see our normal lineup. Polly on the mound. In the first attempt at this game, Polly didn't give up a hit until Troy Gloss came in to pinch hit in the bottom of the third. He did have a walk, though, at least one. Juan Pierre grounds back out to Polly to open up the Cardinals here. Alright, Nick Punto at the plate. 
he'll watch that fastball go down and out. Pops this one up. Kester is waiting on it. Two down. Albert Pujols. Well, that I think was supposed to be a knuckleball and just totally sailed. Oh. Pujols a little over aggressive, maybe. I don't think that was anywhere close to the strike zone, but he fouls it off and swings and misses through a fastball. One and two. Called strike three. Polly out of the inning. This is somehow going even better in the <laughs> through one than it was before. Uh, Polly's going to lead things off for the Squirrels in the second, where they still lead four to nothing. Loesch winds and delivers a changeup that's called a strike. Ground ball to Miles at second. One down. Kester singled in his last at bat. Loesch without a strikeout the first time through the order. Looks at strike one. And this pitch just inside. Grounds this one foul. One and two. Ground ball back too low. She gets a glove on it, redirects it to his tourist, who picks it up and takes care of the play. Two down. Marvin at the plate. Already has a double today. Swings and misses at the first pitch in the second inning. Well, his first pitch in the second inning, anyway. And that changeup down in the dirt. Popped foul, but it'll get to the seats behind home. And this is lined into right field for another base hit. You know, Marvin is one of the few players on this team who you might put on cycle watch. Not a big home run hitter, but he's hit, you know, a good handful in his career. And he's, you know, fairly fast. He could pull off a triple. Be a little easy. Well, the triple would be easier in our ball ballpark. The home run would be easier here. Getting way ahead of ourselves, though. Chief at the plate has a 3-1 and one count. And he will take a walk to put runners on first and second for Terry. There are still two outs. The two runners on base. Terry looks at a strike. And gets... He has a friendly call for Loesch there. Base hit into left. Marvin's going to come in and try to score, and he will make it there. Five to nothing, Squirrels. Frank at the plate. First pitch goes outside. And that pitch called a strike. Still two on, two outs. A one and two count at the plate for Frank. And he hits a ground ball that gets through into center field. Chief coming in to score. And Terry on his way to third. That'll put runners on the corners, and the Squirrels already have their 6 nothing lead back. Tom takes a strike. Not as many homers to do it, but still, Kyle Loesha just was not going to have it today, no matter how many times we played this game. Tom comes through with a base hit, makes it 7 to nothing. Zach now to the plate. Still two outs. I think all these runs have been scored with two outs in this inning. Zach fouls this one off. Not badly hit, but on the wrong side of first. And there's a base hit into right center. Another run in to score. Eight to nothing, Squirrels. Runner still on the corners. And the Cardinals have seen about enough of that. They're going to go get Malaska. Oh, just dropped the cap in my water. Oh, well. Joey to the plate. Lined out in his first at bat. Looks at a strike. Fouls this pitch away. 0 oh and 2. Swing and a miss. Strike 3. That'll end the top of the second, but it's already an 8 nothing game in favor of the Squirrels. 
Hideki Matsui, due up for the Cardinals. Hits are 10 to nothing right now going into the bottom of the second. Just a nightmare for St. Louis right now. Polly will open up with a knuckleball in the dirt. Gets a pop fly from Matsui. Actually goes a little deeper than I thought, but Joey does make the play out in left field. One down, Encarnacion at the plate. Takes a strike. Pops this one up. Polly will field it himself. Two down. Aaron Miles at the plate. And this pitch is called a strike on the inside. And this one too far inside. Grounds this one. Well, I guess it was. I thought it was a hop, but I guess not. Polly makes a great play on the mound, and that will end the inning. And he will get to lead off the top of the third. 8 nothing squirrels. First pitch to Polly called a strike. Second pitch is fouled away. 0 oh 2. This up the middle, but is Turris a great diving play for the out? One down, Kester back at the plate for the third time already. Takes a ball to open this at bat and then swings and misses to make it one and one. There's a called strike, one and two. And this one fouled away. Still one and two. Fly ball into right. Encarnacion drifts back a bit and then makes the grab. Two down. Marvin doubled and singled already. Back at the plate again. Watches that pitch go outside. And watches that pitch in the dirt. This is going to get through the left side of the infield. Not going to be a triple or a home run. But it is a two-out single. Brings Chief to the plate. Drew a walk in his last at-bat. Takes a strike to open this at-bat and then swings through a fastball. 0-2. Fouls this one away over behind the first base dugout. Looks at strike three. Squirrels kept off the board for the first inning. Still leading 8 to nothing. Caesar as Turris will lead things off for the Cardinals in the bottom of the third. First pitch from Polly is a strike on the inside. Only one strikeout for Polly so far. That's shocking. He's usually our highest volume strikeout guy. This is going to be a ground ball. Kester is able to get a glove on it and get it thrown over for the first out. McMillan at the plate. And that knuckleball just outside. Tries it again. This time he gets a swing and a miss. Called strike on a fastball. One and two. And a ground ball to second. Kester throws it over. Two down. Cardinals going to go ahead and make a pinch hit here. Going to find Troy Gloss. Trying to get anything going here, I'm sure. This exact thing, same thing happened in the first game. Although Kyle Loesch was still a pitcher, but they pinch hit for Gloss in the third. And he came through with the first Cardinals hit. In this game try. We have an 0-2 count, and he will go down swinging. So we go into the fourth, still an 8-0 game, and Terry will lead things off for the Squirrels. Kyle Farnsworth is going to come out and pitch now.
All right, first pitch for Par Farnsworth is called a strike. Terry puts this one into right, and Carnacion ought to have it, and he does, although it ends up being a shoestring catch. Brings Frank to the plate. Got a hit in his last at-bat, hit into an unfortunate double play in his first at-bat. He hit the ball hard, but right to Punto at third. Two and one the count in this at-bat. If he call there, makes it two and two. And way behind on that fastball for the second out. Tom also on cycle watch with a double and a single. It is also fairly fast. Like he, it's probably about as fast as Marvin. I know Tom, at least to start off, was a ranked to 10 on speed. That's probably pretty close to what Marvin is. 2-2 two and two the count in this at bat. And he's going to swing and miss to end the top of the fourth inning. Still eight to nothing, Squirrels. Juan Pierre back to the plate to open up the fourth inning. Pierre ground out in his first at bat. Pauly did eventually get two strikeouts through the first time through the Cardinals order. Has an 0-2 count on Pierre. And swing and a miss, strike three. One down, Punto at the plate. And this will go inside. Swing and a miss, makes it one and one. This is not a badly placed ball, but Kester is able to go back and make the play. Two down, Pujol set the plate, nobody on base. First pitch is called a strike. Second pitch is called a strike. Swing and a miss, strike three. Pujol strikes out in both at-bats so far today. We'll go on to the fifth inning, still an 8 nothing Squirrels lead. Zach up to bat for Indianapolis. Zach is 2 for 2 today, pair of singles. First pitch goes inside. This is going to be another base hit up the middle. 3 for 3, all three singles. Brings Joey to the plate. He is 0 for 2. He might be the only player that's 0 for 2 today. First pitch goes inside. This one is going to get through the right side of the infield for his first hit of the day. Brings Polly to the plate. Polly takes a strike. Another called strike, 0 and 2. A uh, ground ball, but it does get foul, so Polly gets another try at it. This one is a ground ball that will be fielded by Punto. Only throw is to second, and it made it close, but the Cardinals do get the out. So that will leave runners on the corners, and one out for Kester. He'll look at a strike. Oh, throws at his head. Kester gets out of the way. One and one. This will be a base hit. That's going to be the first run Farnsworth has given up this year to make it nine to nothing. Brings Marvin back to the plate. Farnsworth about out of gas. Does throw the first pitch for a strike. Marvin swings and misses to make it 0 and 2. And that fastball goes outside. Ground ball, but foul down the first baseline. Called strike three. Two away, Chief at the plate, runners on first and second. First pit, broken bat, but it gets foul by the first base dugout. And then fouls this one away. 0 oh, and 2. Called strike three, and I think the umpire is wanting to get out of here, and I don't necessarily blame him. 
We've hit the halfway point. It's nine to nothing. Squirrels and Hideki Matsui is due up for the Cardinals in the bottom of the fifth. First pitch from Polly called a strike. Second pitch called a strike. And that pitch in the dirt. Matsui yet to swing in the sad bat. Finally does and comes up empty. One out, Incarnacion to the plate. He fouls the first pitch away. Gets a call, 0-2. Oh Actually, Polly gets a call, not Incarnacion. Pow. Pitch fouled away, still 0-2. And, and this fastball just outside, and Carnacion does not go chasing. Does chase this one into the dirt and comes up empty. Two down, Aaron Miles now at the plate. He'll look at a strike. Swing and a miss, 0-2. Swing and a miss, strike three. We go into the sixth inning, still a nine to nothing game. Terry will lead things off for the Squirrels. Terry, two for three on the day. Farnsworth still on the mound. Don't know if he'll have enough gas to get through the inning. We'll see how far he goes. Has a one and one count on Terry. Terry's going to put this into right, but pretty much right to Encarnacion. He did not have to move much. And that will end Farnsworth Day. Ooh, sorry, had a big yawn there. Kelvin Jimenez comes into the game. Frank to the plate. Nobody on base. One out. Frank pulls this one deep in the left, but foul. Puts this one, that's going to leave the yard over the bullpen and into the stands. His fifth home run of the year, I believe, gives him the team lead and makes the game 10 to nothing. Squirrels. Just a nightmare of a day for the Cardinals. Tom to the plate, Jimenez. Uh, apparently pitching hurt. That's normally what that green symbol means. Is that they ought to be on the, the DL, or whatever they call it now. I guess it's the IL now. I think it's injured list, not disabled list. Gets Tom to pop it up right at the plate. McMillan makes the play. Zach is 3 for 3 on the day. Swings and misses at the first pitch. Swings and misses at the second pitch. Pops this one up also right by the plate and foul ground. It takes forever to come down, but eventually does. Ten to nothing squirrels as we go to the bottom of the sixth. Seven, eight, nine coming up for the Cardinals. Here is Cesar is Turris, who is ground out today. And he will look at strike one. That pitch down and in. Comes back and gets a called strike. One and two. Called strike three. That'll bring McMillan to the plate. Polly winds and delivers a fastball for a strike. There's another called strike. Oh and two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Pitcher spot due up. The Cardinals will pinch hit. They're going to find Sky. Who I want to say I made a good hitter, but not that great of a catcher. Though it's been a few years since I've created him, so I'm not 
totally sure about that. Has an 0-2 count in this at-bat. And he will go down swinging. Polly still just cruising in this game. 10 to nothing as we go into the 7th. And Joey will lead things off for the Squirrels. Tyler Johnson going to come in to pitch now. I about called him Trevor again, but I caught myself this time. Fly ball into right. Encarnacion makes the... go. Oh, drops it! Just... Goodness gracious, just nothing going right for the Cardinals today. Polly will get to hit for himself, hopefully for obvious reasons. And he's going to foul this pitch away. Makes the count one and one. And the fastball goes outside. Swing and a miss. Makes it two and two. Grounds this one through the left side of the infield. A base hit for Polly. Brings Kester back to the plate. And he looks at a strike. Hits this one into right field, but the fielders were up, so no chance to score for Joey. Brings Marvin to the plate, now batting right-handed. Base is loaded with nobody out, and Marvin whiffs at the first pitch. Hits this one right to his tourist, who fields it on a hop. The only out they get is at third, and that does allow Joey to score an unearned run to make it 11 to nothing. Chief at the plate will take a ball, swing and miss to make it one and one. This one in the dirt again. This one too high, three and one the count. Swing and a miss, full count, only one out though, runner stood, should stay put. And it gets away. Good thing that was ball four. Loads the bases again for Terry, still only one out. That fastball catches the outside corner. Fly ball into right. Kester is tagging. Encarnacion does catch that one, but Kester comes in to score. Sacrifice fly makes it 12 to nothing. Frank at the plate now. And he'll take strike one. Foul tips it, 0-2. And, and this pitch up and in. Swing and a miss, strike three. That finally gets us to the seventh inning stretch. Squirrels leading 12 to nothing. Juan Pierre on the other side. Juan Pierre at the plate, ground out and struck out today. Polly still working in the seventh. Starts off with the ball in the dirt and then throws one that is called a strike. Swing and a miss, makes it one and two. Called strike three. Polly's 11th strikeout of the day is the first out of the seventh inning. Punto at the plate. He'll take strike one. Fouls this pitch away. 0-2. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Pujols has struck out both at-bats, first looking and then swinging. Surely we are not going to strike him out three times. Though he does take strike one to open this at-bat. 
This pitch pretty wild, though Polly does scoop it up for whatever it's worth. There is the first base hit and the first base runner for the Cardinals today. I didn't figure we would get a no-hitter today. See if Polly can get out of the inning, though. Got Matsui at the plate. From the stretch for the first time today, throws a couple balls. Gets the knuckleball over for a strike. This one's back up the middle again. Back-to-back -back hits by the Cardinals. They got a lot of work to do with two outs in the seventh inning, though. Brings Encarnacion to the plate. And he looks at strike one. Looks at strike two. Swing and a miss. Strike three. That gets Polly out of the inning. A couple runners finally for the Cardinals, but still no runs. So 12 to nothing as we go into the eighth. Tom will lead off the inning for the Squirrels. Tom two for four today. Takes a strike. And this pitch up and in. Swing and a miss, makes it one and two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Zach, three for four on the day, finally fouled out in his last at bat. Looks at strike one. Hits this one into right field. Encarnacion should have it, and he does. That brings Joey to the plate. He has gotten a hit today, but he also reached on the error in right when Encarnacion dropped a can of corn out there. Has an 0 and 2 count in this at bat. Swing and a miss, strike three. That will end the top of the eighth. 12 to nothing, Squirrels. Aaron Miles will lead things off for the Cardinals. We will go out and get Nakai to try to finish out this game. It doesn't look like Tyler Johnson is going to come back out for the ninth. This will also get Phil in the game. All right, that flips Miles around to right-handed, and he'll take a strike to open this at bat. And this pitch too low. Swing and a miss at a curveball in the dirt. Bad swing there. I think they only went about 60 feet. And then it called strike three on a fastball. One down. Cesar is Turris at the plate. Takes a strike. Grounds this one towards third. Or, well, no, actually it wasn't a grounder. It was a liner. I thought it took a hop, but Chief catches it on the fly, I guess. This one is off the ground. Chief picks it up and throws it over, and that will end the eighth inning. We go into the ninth. A 12 nothing game. I'm sure everyone's looking forward to just getting this one in the record books. Oh, well, Johnson is going to go back out there. I don't know if I've ever seen a pitcher stay in the game after it talks about elbow pain. Cardinals have used several pitchers at this point. I think this is Johnson number five? Four or five? Phil at the plate has a one and two count after that swing and a miss. Swing and a miss again. Strike three, one out. Kester, three for five so far. Looks at a strike. Hits this one towards short as Turris throws it over. Two down. Marvin, three for five so far. Swings and misses at the first pitch. Hits this one into right field. Encarnacion running over, and he makes the catch. Bottom of the ninth, the Cardinals are going to need 12 to stay alive. Only gotten two hits on the day. They are going to pinch hit, though, which, you know, they should. Angel Cabrera is going to come in. Uh, 
Or it's Drupal Cabrera, sorry. One and one the count. One and two now. Nakai gets a swing and miss on a changeup. One down. Juan Pierre, 0 for 3 with a couple strikeouts. Swings and misses at the first pitch here. Gets this one towards the middle and just out of Phil's reach. So the Cardinals with the base runner in the ninth. Brings Nick Punto to the plate. Takes strike one. And this pitch too high. Swing and miss on a changeup. One and two. And gets a fastball by him for the second out of the inning. Albert Pujols, the final out for the Cardinals, did get a hit in his last at bat. The Cardinals try to run and Pierre is thrown out to end the game. No idea what they were trying to do there other than maybe just get out of here a little earlier. Don't know why you take the bat out of Pujols' hands to do that. Just a boneheaded play all around. Your final score today, Indianapolis Squirrels 12, St. Louis Cardinals 0. I believe we will be on our way to Denver next to take on the Rockies. I'm fairly sure we played the Rockies at home already, so this one should be on the road. But I might be misremembering that. I guess we'll find out tomorrow. Marvin, your player of the game. I'm sure they had a pick of several. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If you'd like to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, feel very free. Otherwise, like I said, we've got the Rockies tomorrow. We will see you then.